The Cone Zone campaign is an annual public awareness campaign, now in its 12th year. The aim of the campaign is to raise awareness of the need to protect workers at the roadside. And that's not only construction workers where you see, in areas where you see a lot of orange cones, but also emergency workers, first responders who may have to pull a vehicle over or attend a vehicle at the side of the road. Anytime that you see flashing lights, whether they're amber flashing or red and blue flashing lights, you also need to slow down and give them more, more room to do their work safely. The Cone Zone campaign always uh, coincides with what is typically construction season or road construction season in, uh, in British Columbia. Uh, the weather gets better, you see a lot more road work happening. That's not only road construction, but it's um, municipal work, uh, landscaping work, work on utilities. So there's all kinds of things that happen at the roadside. And and, uh, and a lot of it does happen at this time of the year. Now, not all of it happens between March and the end of August uh, because emergency scenes can happen at any time. So it's, we're using this time of the year when uh, the people working at the roadside are the most visible to really highlight the fact that any time you come upon a work zone or an emergency situation, you need to slow down and give them more room to work safely. In the past year, we've seen two people killed in roadside work zones and uh, 31 people injured. And those are injuries that are serious enough for the people to have to take time off work to recover. Over the past decade, uh, 12 people have been killed, 221 injured, again, seriously enough to have to miss time from work. The message is not only to drivers to slow down, pay attention, obey traffic safety personnel, but it's to employers who are obligated to provide a safe work zone for their employees at the side of the road, and to employees themselves who have responsibility to ensure that they're wearing proper personal protective equipment to ensure that their zone is set up safely. Uh, so it's really a collaborative effort and a message out to all those, those people to ensure that we're working together to make sure that everyone who works at the roadside does so safely.